You are watching Swen News. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Summersworth High School Swen News Show. I'm Drew Hallett. On this week's show, we learn about Mr. Nato's intro to physical science classes, solar system projects, and what they have learned from this project. It all happens next here on the Swen News Show. The goal of the project here was to have the kids design their own galaxy and present it to, we haven't had many people pass by, but I just wanted them to think about what goes into a galaxy, you know, uh, moons, the planets, how those planets are affected, their climates and whatnot, um, what kind of species could possibly live there based on how far away from the sun they are, and just rotational, uh, gravitational pull, anything like that. I just wanted them to think deeply and not have to just be read out of a textbook. This is our solar system. The planets we have are Neutron, Poof, Boo, and Mulan, and rules the sun. And Poof has two moons, which is Wanda and Cosmo, and Boo has Sally and Mike for moons. Um, for our sun, which is Drool, it has no moons. The density is one million tons. The climate is very hot, which is 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and nothing lives there. Boo, which she said, has Sully and Mike, and then the climate is tropical. Um, reptiles live there, so this is a <laughs> our <laughs> drawing of a reptile. And then one year on Boo equals five Earth years on Earth. <laughs> the density is 1,000 times. And Neutron has no moons. The climate is warm, which is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing lives here. One day on Neutron equals one year on Earth. The density is 5,000 tons. Poof has two moons, Wanda and Cosmo. Density is 3,000 tons. The climate is tundra, which means the polar bears live on Poof. And one year on Poof equals two years on Earth. Uh, um. This is Mulan. There's no moons. The climate's very hot, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Nothing lives here. One year in Mulan equals one day on Earth. The density is 500 tons. I learned that it wasn't like uh, him reading to us. It was something that we gotta like create on our own. It wasn't a, um, it wasn't from a textbook or anything. I learned that the distance of the planets from the sun really affects the climate and the species that live there, and you really have to think about that when you do your project. We also talked to the Unified Basketball team to hear of their goals and outlooks for the season. So what are you most looking forward to this season? In the season? You know, this is actually my first year doing this, but Same it's year. First, first of the best because I came to came right out of track. I really am enjoying this program. I think one of the things I like most about unified basketball is the inclusiveness and the equity and the, just the all hands on deck aspects of, of unified where people are really there just to cheer on the athletes. And it's not about super competitiveness. It's not about winning or losing, it's about being there. We have two categories of players. We have the athletes and we have helpers. Um, these two ladies are hel helpers and their main job is to facilitate success for the athletes. Uh, and we have so many helpers this year that we have to actually use them in shifts. We have four to five games uh, and we have about 20 kids that wanna come out and be helpers. So, I mean, that's incredible. Um, we're going to try to have one practice a week, uh, and if we can do that, it's a lot of fun. Um, Ryan, you went to the last practice. What did you think? It was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty much all practices are actually pretty impressive. You know, practices are pretty amazing, and I usually train off in a big way. What do you think, Keegan? You were there. You weren't feeling well. But. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was cool. It was nice and easy, so it was like, it was fun. Even though I was watching. And Anna, our Italian uh, ace in the hole. <laughs> Have you ever played basketball before? Yeah, at school in Italy, but yeah. uh, not in a real team. Yeah. So, and I never try unified basketball, so it's my first time. And I'm really happy about that. Well, this is my first time coaching basketball as well. Coaching any sport, really. 
So I'm looking forward to learning along with these guys. So. You're going to come on the heels of Superintendent Mosca, who is a terrific coach. Who had a crazy winning season. Yeah, uh, yeah I remember that. They went right to the, oh, uh, to the semifinals. So um, we are not in that league anymore. So this is more about playing the games and just being successful game to game instead of fun. playing for any kind of championship and having fun. Yeah. Brandon. You're, you got dual roles because you're in this broadcast TV class. Yeah. And you're also on the team. Yeah. Yeah. So well, well yeah. So for, I, I want to see well, you. I want to see you get a uh, a dunk, and then go from dunking it to jumping behind the camera, <laughs> and getting a shot of it. Well, Brandon that's, that's is actually is that's actually going to be uh, hopefully filming the games as well. Um, we I'm will differentiate up. for everybody's wants and needs, mm -hmm. and some people want to play, some people want to support, and some people want to go to practice, and some people want to go to games. So we'll make it work for everybody involved. So, what do you think? I'm fine with that. Everybody put, put your hand in. Come on, let's do a little dorky over the hands <laughs> shot. That's always the thing. Yep. And ready, so just like raise your hand, just hit like team. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. Team. Hi, my name's Keanu from Swen18. Thanks for watching and have a great day.